Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. We've got Nick Vial discussing the Cassidy apology, the leaked videos that she had calling out Clayton and other aspects of her uh, rage quitting, as, as you will. So she's apologized multiple times, and people say, oh, yeah, Cassidy, you're not too bad. We're too focused on Shanae. But Nick's saying, I don't buy it. He said there was rage behind her eyes when she kind of delivered that statement. I'll play a quick clip of what she said, but uh, it's more important we talk about what Nick had to say here. So we'll get into that right now. Do me a favor, follow me on Instagram at dneals. And also, if you want to watch the making of this video, we're live right now on Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. We got new members coming all the time. We just had a new member join us right now here on Patreon. So let's wait. Let me just give a quick shout out to who the new member is. Shannon McGuire just joined us. Hi, Shannon. Thanks so much for being a part of the community. We appreciate you so much. And of course, the Dave Neal Show is taking off. We are so close to monetizing this channel. It'll be monetized in a few days. So this is the channel I will be making a lot of content on when Bachelor videos are either um, scarce or Bachelor no longer exists. You know, we were nervous. There's so many so many kind of toxic things going on in the Bachelor world. If ABC finally says enough is enough and pulls the plug on Bachelor, which I don't think will happen, but if they do, this is where the content's going to be. So I'm trying to invest in uh, in that beforehand. So anyway, let's watch what Nick had to say about Cassidy's uh, rantings. Now, I'll just play like two seconds of these so you can see. This is what Cassidy was saying in these, what she's calling leaked Instagram stories. And then I remember that, wait a second, even though I'm about to be on national television, men still treat me like shit. But that's okay. That's all right. Because it is not for not fucking long. So, so this was Cassidy apparently sending private messages to her friends. And th this one's a little harder to believe because it looks more like a TikTok with the uh, picture in picture. But um, here she is. Normally being dramatic, but... So we already showed this. She's pointing out. We were going to give her a rose even though she was engaged last week. Meanwhile, I fucked someone a few months ago and I got sent home. So you're not allowed to talk about this on air. You know what I mean? You get sued. You can't just like, you can't do what she's doing. But she claims she sent it to her private friend group, which apparently is perfectly fine. And if you want to call someone out to your private friend group, absolutely. Like do whatever you want to do. I, I don't care. Uh, not that it's up to me anyway, but uh, Nick says, I don't know. This sounds like it was kind of how she really felt. So um, let's let's just have a watch here and we'll interject as we see fit. You know, we discussed Cassidy's little private friend story that was very anti-Clayton saying F Clayton. She did release. So wait, what do you mean that was a private friend story? That was By the way, I love how they explain it to Nick as if he's the dad who's not paying attention. And they're like, yeah, I remember Stephanie, my friend. And he's like, wait, Stephanie, the one from the prom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meant for just her close friends on Instagram. So how did the entire internet find out they about it? They screen recorded it. Just her, as you her, screen recorded oh, the screen recording. Oh, that's so scary. The one who she thinks is a close friend. Clo oh. is not a close mm -hmm. friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and she mm -hmm. said that in the mm -hmm. post. She said she addresses the leak. That's my Nick impression. Mm -hmm videos and said they were never meant to be shared publicly and that someone she viewed as a friend screen recorded them and sent them to like a gossip site and then she said in the story in those videos i'm being intentionally over dramatic and satirical the people who know me in real life get that but i totally understand why people who've never met me would be like wtf it's like me doing anything wrong being like i was overly satirical i'm sorry <laughs> yeah, about well, that that was do we believe <laughs> i also i'm like can people learn what satire is like, I don't think people understand what satire is. I think they just use it as a catch-all excuse whenever they, like, make something mm -hmm. off. So satire, the use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices, particularly in the context of contemporary politics and other topical issues. Uh, kind of, you know, sarcasm. Do you know what sarcasm is? No, I don't. I don't know kilter like, like i was joking I, satire. I think i know what satire is but i don't know if i could define it are you i love super dry sarcasm i love when i'm super sarcastic and dry and people don't realize it that's my favorite could you enlighten the audience i think okay okay Spoke so this soon. is my unofficial definition but i think it is ali quick google <laughs> yeah ali's like i have the word let's see how one. far how far amanda is from the i think satire is a form of comedy that intentionally exaggerates specific elements for yeah. a comedic effect and commentary yeah. so I well i don't i don't think satire has to be comedy though 
Like you can make something satirical or you can make a parody that's actually not meant to be funny. I think it needs to be like, it needs like the onion is a parody. It's funny. It, it aims for humor, but there's other news. That's just like completely, it doesn't aim necessarily to be, uh, I digress. It does, it does. It's not important to the conversation. The conversation we have here is a was Cassidy, uh, tr uh, is she trying to backtrack? Like she actually did send this to everyone, which we should be able to prove if she did. And two, um, did she mean what she said? Needs to have a specific point of view, and the exaggeration like needs to be burning in love. Of that. Did the Bachelor? It was a show. It was a mm -hmm. show called Burning Love, and they basically a bunch of comedians in LA uh, did. And that's right. That would be yeah, satire. Exactly. Because yeah. it's like, yeah, it's like taking something of the form and then like deliberately, deliberately heightening it or making a big so deal that, out of this it. This would not be satire. So they're questioning whether or not this is satire or not. And I'll tell you what, look, let's just have a watch again. It kind of, I, I, I can see like without knowing Cassidy, I could see her talking to her friends this way. Anyways, I think I'm going to be a great influencer. I feel like I'm really entertaining. You're entertained, right? You'd buy anything I'm selling you, right? Even if it's completely. So I don't know, you know, I mean, come on, I don't know. She is friends with a lot of comedians. We have mutual friends in the comedy world. So she's friends with comedians. We, you know, we, we don't get to see the edit that they have on the camera. So we don't really know exactly what their personality is like. Well, I think no. it's like, what's, so. what's your take, girly? Well, also, like, I, I saw the video. It was intense. There was some rage behind those eyes. There might have been... No, there weren't tears, I don't think. I don't no. I also wonder how angry. you find out who the close friend is that betrayed you. Like So, yeah, that I had the same question. How do you find out who the close friend is that betrayed you? Now, on the Patreon, you guys will watch. We came up to this. So this is screen grab, but look at the final second of the screen grab here. Like, we, re this really is true. Uh, we do need to look at this. So the final second... It goes here, right? And then we know whoever whoever recorded this screen grab was listening to what we know by the Ryan Russell whatever, and they have Verizon. I'd be looking at my friend. You got Sprint, you got Verizon. You got Sprint, you're off the hook. Hey, you got Verizon, T-Mobile, you're off the hook. You got Verizon, you're on my shit list, <laughs> okay? So uh, that's where that is. But whoever leaked this would have had this. But also, what is this, folks? What do we have here? Oh, boy. So someone had said, wh whoever recorded this was the recipient. So this was sent to the person who recorded it. Luckiest man alive doesn't choose you is still shocking. I don't watch The Bachelor, but I'm legit just going to watch just to see why this idiot let you go. LOL. Now, 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 hold on. This could have been in a group message. So people say, oh, this could have been Cassidy who sent it. This was probably in a group message. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's one person or the other. But also, what's... I don't understand what this reflection is. This is Cassidy right here. Is that part of... Oh, guys, I'm so confused here. So, oh, that's part of the video. So that's the video. And then it, and then it cuts to that. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I've been told, but this story is very weird. I have a business degree. Why am I covering it? Let's continue. Do you post another one and you're like, who, like how do you find that out? That would be That's another good point. Someone I thought it was a friend. She sounds like she was speaking about someone specifically. Mm -hmm. I would also But there is argue, no way though, to know. There's close friend story, but then there's just not posting it at all. You well, but this is victim blaming putting it up there. And I, still you know, they saying she shouldn't have taken the risk of putting it up there. This is she's the if if someone leaks her private messages, I don't think that's legal to do. Right. So Cassidy would be the victim here. And they're saying, well, you shouldn't have done it. It's 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 it is essentially saying, well, you shouldn't have worn that. You shouldn't have worn that dress. You shouldn't have been drinking. You shouldn't have been walking down the street. Right. If she's the victim of, of someone airing out her private messages, which she did not intend to be public have to wonder like why I, you couldn't just text your close friends at that point and express your frustration I think it no nah, because you know what you got your close friends that you text but then you have your friends that you just shoot off instagram with you know that's just the way it is it was intentional i think she, she is backtracking and making up I don't buy it. I don't. Okay. And then Nick, Nick's got a valid uh, cynicism here. You, you, you guys know we love Nick's cynicism. He's looking at it from the side of like a defense attorney or prosecutor. He's going, no, nah, I don't buy it. It doesn't add up. And I'm kind of like, uh, she apologized. You know, well, we're on different aspects of kind of like, I like to, I like to believe, you know what I mean? The truth is out there. I like to believe, but he's saying, I don't buy it. It doesn't add up. And that's fine too. That's absolutely fine. You know, we might never have the right information. And even if she did send it out there, 
it doesn't mean she doesn't regret it and apologize. It doesn't, it doesn't negate her apology in any way. It's kind of, it really doesn't matter. Don't buy it. Don't, Don't buy it. I think it's just kind of careless because also that's the same thing as like, if you have three close girlfriends that you could maybe tell that to, you might just like text them about it exactly. or send a voice memo. Mm -hmm. Voice memo? Come on. That's like a huge yes. tool. We should be using that instead of our close friends. Also, don't, when you're like, if it's, whether it's satire or you're just putting a little, I'm going to do a bit, you know, I'm going to do a little bit about my time on The Bachelor. You kind of, you know, you give like a look or something. There's like a expression yeah. when you're doing comedy. Oh, my dog farted. Of some kind. Yeah, you make a joke usually. She also yeah. dragged. She ended with, fuck you, Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so satirical. It's that's so like, silly. That's so satirical. Oh. Like, I don't understand that. My that dog person. farted. If you guys. knew me, you would know that I was joking. I'm literally <laughs> telling that. jokes. I'm joking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't. All right, so the hardest thing to do in these conversations is, by the way, my dog farted. He, it's, he's literally right below me. It's literally, you go watch it just come up to my eye level. Ugh. Me. Old dogs fart. Why do old dogs fart so much? Boone, come on. He turns 14 and he's got nothing but gas. Oh, come on. I, can't, I literally can't focus. My brain's going, talk about Nick. And then the other side of my brain's like, but you smell farts. I'm eating fart every time I talk about it. I do this for you guys out there. You understand that? This is love. I'm literally tasting Basset Hound flatulence for you guys. That's right. The comments. Oh, now he walks away. Now you're going to walk away. I just got crop dusted. The dog walked away. Oh, even he didn't want to sit in the fart. He's like, I got to go for a lap. All right. We got crop dusted by our dog, and that's love, folks. Need better circulation. I need just some, like, fans blowing vents around here. All right, yeah, killer dog. Okay, anyway, I digress, but that wasn't my point. That's not me digressing. That's the dog just laying a, you know, uh, you know, a nuclear load on my feet. All right, yeah, right? You can see it. I'm just, like, glazing up. I feel like we adjusted the filter on the green screen. We'd just be able to see this, like, Pepe Le Pew. All right, anyway, um, they're kind of criticizing Cassidy for her satire, her tone, and that's kind of hard to do because we don't know what it... Everyone's got a different thing. I say some... I say crazy things to my friends just to get them to uh, respond. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll make... You know, whatever. It's like, that's what people do. Um... So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge her for that. I did reach out to Cassie to see if she had any response. I haven't gotten one yet, but um, I think um, it's impossible to know for sure um, who leaked these messages, and I don't think it's got the stakes high enough to really care. But what we do know is she has apologized, whether she was uh, being satirical or emotional, or maybe um, her humor went too far. Either way, she has apologized. She said Clayton was really good to her as he kind of kicked her out, you know? And what else do we know? Let's see if there's anything we missed here. I don't, uh, my original theory still stands. I think she, uh, was hoping to low key accuse, uh, Clayton of indirectly slut shaming her by, you know, sending her home and keeping the girl who was engaged, Sally. It didn't land. Mm -hmm. And, uh, now she's backtracking after probably being well, because this came out prior to her exit. So she got yelled at by Warner Brothers. True. And then she, no one picked up on her like, no, but Clayton, like, he, like, he, he, he made me feel bad for having sex. I reject that because I believe she sent these messages before any of this came out, right? Like reality, Steve had found these. He had these on January 10th. He had these three weeks ago. Uh, or longer. He's had these for a while. Before you watch Cassie tonight in the episode, just keep these videos in mind. Maybe the idea you get on TV is actually who you really are. There's something off about what she's been posting on her Instagram stories. She's reveling in her villainy. So again, uh, he, he kind of implied it was on her Instagram stories, which it could have been. It still could have been a private friend group on the Instagram stories. All right, so we don't know. But then again, hopefully, she, you know, like let's just operate under the assumption she feels bad about her words and actions and she's trying to do better, right? That's what she says. I'll take her word for for uh shout out to my basset hound for um uh, interrupting that video so uh eloquently and uh thank you guys all so much for watching if you want to check out the behind the scenes go to patreon.com slash dave neal i have a stand-up show saturday night here in silver lake east los and east hollywood los angeles if you guys want to come out and laugh hey blake moines you're in los angeles let me text blake and see if he wants to come out get some bachelor folks to come to this show and um uh, we'll be here more content coming your way go check out dave neal show if you want to see some non-bachelor related content that's the wrong button let's have a good one folks i'll see you guys in a little bit bye now